I've just finished looking my project and I've reached the desired length that I want for making a cap. So now I'm going to show you how to cast off. Now the length you want to have is at least 18 inches. But what I'd like to do is to make sure that I have enough yarn when I'm casting off. I just kind of like go around the machine. That's the length I want to have. But then I just add a little bit more for security. Then cut the yarn. And thread your yarn. Now I tried following the instructions from the book. And the instructions showed that you had to take the first loop out of each needle. But I found that I end up with loose loops. So I found a more efficient way of casting off. If you can see, this is the last needle. Make sure that that is locked in. And the next needle you can see it goes all the way down. So you have to catch it with your needle. Okay. Then do the next needle. You just kind of like scoop out the yarn you can from the loop. The you can so I'll, I'm going to show you that in another video. I'm going to show you a few more stitches. Scoop out the loop. And it does help to hold the yarn. Okay, I'm down to my last few stitches. Again, the needle on the side. Go about the yarn. the edge when you're casting on and this is the edge when you're casting off. Now for making the cap it's much easier to, to use the other end where you cast off, pull, and that's the top of your cap. And then you just show the whole close. But since I'd like to have the next side on the outside, put your needle through the center with the stitches gathered. Turn your cap inside out and pull the yarn. And you just simply so the whole shot. Well, I'd like to do a crisscross pattern this way. So that way the hole doesn't show. Okay, I'm going back. This is something I developed on my own because I found out that when I made caps I had holes at the top of the cap or the yarn would become loose. Okay, then again, back to one the other side. And then 
back across. Now when I want to lock it, I like to do it several times. So in case when the first knot gets untied or becomes loose, it's still going to be held on with other, with other knots. Okay, I've done finished sewing the end. I'm going to invert your cap and look for the beginning for the yarn when you cast on. Thread that through your needle. Since this will be the part that you pull over your head, you just need to secure that stitch. Again, I'm a sure person. I'd like to do another stitch. It's another lock stitch. And if you have any left open yarn, you can just weave that in. then you can just cut off the excess. If it, if it unravels, not a problem because you, you have two secure um, slip knots. And fold the edges. Now this cap will fit almost any size head. And here's the cap all done.